Is the iPhone 16 better than the Samsung S24? How about the Google Pixel 9 Pro or the OnePlus 12? We all know the new iPhone 16 is currently the best iPhone there is, but does it really beat other top mobile phones in 2024? Well, in today's video, we'll be putting up the iPhone 16 against other flagship phones to see what happens. Beginning with our first mobile here, the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. Does this phone beat the iPhone? Let's find out. You see, the Xiaomi 14 is known for its amazing camera. I mean, they straight up have an extra camera grip kit that takes things even further. It gives the phone more camera options and even adds more battery to the phone. Yeah, if we are just considering the camera here, then the Xiaomi would take this. However, the iPhone just outshines the Xiaomi in other important aspects like performance, software, and design. With their new A18 chip, the phone's performance becomes twice as good as its predecessor, the iPhone 15, which, let's be honest, is no joke and is already on par, if not better than, the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. But this doesn't conclude the winner yet, as we still have to look at the battery and AI. When it comes to the battery, although the Xiaomi has a 5,000 milliamp power battery compared to the iPhone's 4600, the iPhone's A18 processor significantly improves battery life, allowing it to last through a full day of heavy app use, including gaming. However, this doesn't necessarily mean the iPhone wins this round. As mentioned earlier, the extra camera kit gives an additional 1500 millimeter hour battery to the Xiaomi, and thanks to its 90 watt charger, its charging capability are just insane. With this attached, the Xiaomi would definitely win the battery category, and the same goes for AI as well. Now, looking at these records, it is really difficult to say which is better, as they both dominate in their own way. However, due to the fact that the iPhone excels in more important areas and can do more overall, I believe the winner goes to the iPhone 16. Even though the iPhone took this round, their next opponent won't be easy, as we've got the OnePlus 12. You see, this phone doesn't just outright outclass the iPhone 16 in both battery and display, but also in software. The OnePlus 12 comes with a massive 5400mm battery, which can charge from 0 to 100% in just 26 minutes. I know this doesn't make it the best phone, but damn, that's pretty cool. It excels in gaming, speed, and other important aspects as well. Honestly, I tend to believe that apart from the camera, there's nothing holding this phone back from dominating the market. It just has way too much potential. But does it beat the iPhone? Well, that really depends on a lot of factors. On the basics of phone characteristics, the OnePlus either ties or comes out on top. However, it falls behind when comparing their cameras, as the iPhone 16 is even comparable to Samsung's, or better. AI and other general phone capabilities go to the OnePlus. Honestly, the OnePlus might take this round, or it could go either way. So yeah, this one comes out a draw, but truth be told, I lean more toward the OnePlus. But let me know what you think in the comments, is the OnePlus better than the iPhone, or not? Our next phone is the Google Pixel 9 Pro. Hmm, this one's going to be a bit complicated. The Google Pixel 9 Pro Pro is a premium smartphone that blends elegance and advanced technology. It features a stunning 6.7-inch OLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate, ensuring smooth, fluid visuals. Powered by Google's latest Tensor G4 chip, it offers top-tier performance, AI enhancements, and superior efficiency. Was that all? Not even close. The camera system is a standout, featuring a 50-megapixel primary sensor, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, and a 48-megapixel telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. It excels in low-light photography and portrait shots with impressive detail and color accuracy. With a 5200 milliamp power battery, the Pixel 9 Pro delivers all-day usage, supporting 30W yard wired and 23W bitter wireless fast charging, as well as reverse wireless charging. The phone runs on Android 14, optimized for security and privacy with regular updates. Integration with Google services and AI ensures a personalized, intuitive user experience. However, when faced against the iPhone, I don't think this version of Google's phone is quite there yet. What I'm trying to say is that although Google is making strides in creating a classy, capable device, they still have a long way to go. Now, I don't mean the iPhone 16 wipes the floor with the Pixel 9, far from it. The Pixel beats the iPhone in camera and AI, but the iPhone has more advantages overall and takes this round. Next up is the Sony Xperia 1 VE. Now, it's already a miracle that this phone is here, about to go head-to-head -head with the iPhone, and that's because Sony is making great phones these days. They're trying, just like Google. This phone runs on the same Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip as other high-end smartphones, but it still lacks
lacks some key elements that the iPhone has, like camera software and performance. So yeah, the iPhone wins this one too. Finally, we've got the biggest challenger here, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Is the iPhone 16 better than Samsung? For this matchup, we're bringing out the iPhone 16 Pro Max, as they'll surely need it. Truth be told, the Samsung is just way better than any other version of the iPhone 16, but the Pro Max is a formidable opponent. Now, to see who takes the crown, let's compare all the categories that make up a great phone. When it comes to design, I believe this one is a draw, as both the iPhone and Samsung are uniquely designed in their own way. Camera, however, would go to the iPhone, but Samsung is not far behind. If you look closely, it could go either way. Now, for software, I could say it's a draw, but although this one depends greatly on the user, I think the animations, settings, and other cool stuff are on Samsung's side, so Samsung gets the point here. How about battery? Samsung has a 500 milliamp power battery compared to the iPhone's 4600, but I don't really think Samsung's battery is significantly better than the iPhone's, at least not by much. Still, Samsung takes this one. Screen goes to Samsung as well. Okay, okay, let's just admit it. The Samsung is a better device overall. AI and development are also in Samsung's favor, so it takes this round. However, the iPhone 16 still stands out as one of the best smartphones of 2024. And honestly, it's no surprise. It's Apple, after all. If you want to see all the record holders in smartphone history, check out this video.